Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will demonstrate how you can test machine code directly from the C code. For example, let's say I have a piece of machine code that can add two numbers, okay? We don't have to worry about this set of opcodes or binary symbols shown in hex, right? We don't have to worry about them, but you can take it for granted this set of instructions will add two numbers, okay? I'll show you how I got these instructions in a moment, but for now, assume when the program runs, uh, all of these, you will be able to add two numbers, okay? So you put your shell code in, this is called shell code. Shell code can be anything. It need not be spawning a shell. It can be as simple as adding two numbers or, or anything else else. So I call it a variable shell code array. All of these are bunch of bytes that make up the shell code. All I'm doing is get the address of the shell code and cast it to a white pointer. Okay, so this is a white pointer. And on the left-hand side, I'm declaring a function prototype, right? I'm saying function pointer. Shell is a function pointer, which takes two arguments, int and int, and returns an int. Okay, that is the meaning of the function pointer here. This declaration means uh, shell is a, is a pointer to a function that takes two arguments, integer types, and return an integer, okay? And now I'm calling the shell function and passing one comma two, okay? That's basically what, what this is all about. Okay, I'll show you how to compile this. It won't work if you directly compile in the usual fashion. Like, let me show you. If you run it, it will crash. The reason is that we are running code from a global variable or local variable, it doesn't really matter. If you are running code from a read only section or read write section, uh, that the, the runtime system will not allow uh, you to run code. So what you have to do is compile it with an extra flag, executable stack, or change your configuration setting in the operating system to make the stack executable, okay? Now, if you run it, it will show you answer three because we are adding one and two. Okay. So this is how you test any shell code. Either you uh, took it from the internet or you write it yourself and you wanted to check whether it's working correctly. This is one way to do it. Okay. I will show you how I got this piece of shell code now. Um, if I open my sum.c, right, which is over here adding two numbers and returning the answer. I can compile this, right? And uh, load it into GDB, for example, right? Disassemble my sum, okay? And all of these, like 55, 85, 89E5, 83EC10, all of these until C3, including C3, or basically what I have shown you on the C code. So C code essentially has all of those, okay? And you, you can create an array, place all of them into all the bytes into that array, cast it into a pointer type, then call like a regular function, okay? This is how you could call shell code from your function, okay, from your C function, for example. However, you need an executable stack permission, which may not be advisable all the time in, from a security point of view. Uh, nevertheless, if you want to test whether the shell code itself is working correctly, it's okay to add executable stack permission when you compile it, okay. You can also uh, do one more thing. It's reg regular code, right? So you could say, suppose uh, load it into GDB, right? Disassemble your main. Um, well, what you're seeing here is this call star percentage EAX, right? That means there must be address over here and we can check, let me put a breakpoint at this place, right? Okay, and run. And uh, let's look at what is there in EAX, right? EAX has the EX is a register, of course, it contains this address 8048018. And if you wanted to know what is there inside, let's just put some arbitrary 25 bytes inside this, right? You will see all the shell code that we put in all the bytes, 55, 89, 
all the ventral C3. This is basically what we put in as part of the shell code array. Okay. We can even put a breakpoint at this location, right? And see uh, whether we are hitting there and the program runs, right? Mm. Yeah, it hits there. And we can check what is the instruction. Push CBB. We can actually look at, say, 10 instructions. All of these essentially is implementing the sum function that adds two numbers. Okay. Yeah, that's basically it. This is how you would call a function from your C code. And all you're doing here is put your machine code, uh, the op code of it, inside the array, cast it into a pointer, function pointer, and just call the function pointer. Okay, like a regular function call. So this is very handy to test your machine code directly in, in C. Okay, you need to remember that you need executable stack permission, otherwise um, it, it won't work. Okay, and if you don't have the, uh, let's say you don't like this for some reason, the executable stack permission, okay, when like this, right? There are some, some Linux tools, command line tools you could use uh, allowing the, the stack to be executable, okay. All right, uh, that's basically it, thank you.